Hello guys, I'm Swastik Sharma and today I'll be talking about passive infrared sensors. So let's go. Recalling from the previous video, active infrared sensors have a transmitter and a receiver and the transmitter constantly transmits infrared rays at a specific wavelength. The receiver tries to receive the reflected infrared ray that is being emitted from the transmitter. The reason why active infrared sensors are called active is because they actively transmit infrared rays. So it basically means that there is a transmitter present in an active infrared sensor. There always has to be a transmitter present in an infrared sensor to make it an active infrared sensor. So today we'll talk about passive infrared sensors. So if you don't know what infrared rays are or what infrared sensors are or what active infrared sensors are, you can check out my previous videos in which I have explained in very detail about each of these topics. So now let's get started with passive infrared sensors. So the first thing about passive infrared sensors is that they don't have a transmitter present inside them. Active infrared sensors have a transmitter and passive infrared sensors don't have a transmitter. So passive infrared sensors only have a receiver and they have two receivers which try to receive infrared rays constantly. So passive infrared sensors have two infrared ray receivers inside them and passive infrared sensors are supposed to be used anywhere where motion detection is required. So let's talk about its working principle now and let's hypothetically say that we have a passive infrared sensor inside an empty room. So the two receivers in the passive infrared sensor will try to receive infrared rays from the surrounding area. These two receivers will have values associated to them. These values will increase or decrease based on the amount of infrared rays in the surrounding area. So if the room is empty and there's no one present in the room and there's no infrared device in the room, then those two receivers will receive the same value. But if someone walks in front of the passive infrared sensor from left to right or right to left, one of the receivers will have a higher value and the second receiver will have a lower value. And when the person walks further, the second receiver will have a higher value and the first receiver will have a lower value. So this differential helps the passive infrared sensor detect that there is a motion in front of it. The main job of the passive infrared sensor is to detect a transition between the two receivers. So this brings us to the first disadvantage of passive infrared sensors and it is that it cannot detect a person standing in front of it. The person or the object should be moving in front of it. The second disadvantage is that it does not emit infrared rays. So it cannot determine the distance to the object from the sensor. And the third disadvantage is that there should not be any infrared ray emitting devices unnecessarily present in the area of the sensor. So the two receivers in passive infrared sensor don't have a high field of vision or the width of detecting motion. And to increase this width of detecting motion, the use of Fresnel lens is done. So Fresnel lens are a type of lens and they are different from optical lens. What makes them different from optical lens is that they have a series of contours all over them. So these contours on the Fresnel lens act as individual refracting surfaces and they bend parallel light rays to a common focal length. This can enhance the field of vision or the range of motion detection for the passive infrared sensor. You know so much about passive infrared sensors now. And this video finishes the playlist of infrared rays and sensors for Edvo. If you want me to create videos on any other topic, you can feel free to comment that topic in the comment section and I will definitely make a video on that topic. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you know when we have uploaded new videos. Thank you.